There are three beliefs at Acton that drive everything we do. The first belief is that every student who walks in our door is a genius who is destined to change the world. Secondly, we believe that students should be in charge of their own learning. And thirdly, we believe that asking great questions is far more important than regurgitating correct answers. In fact, learning to do and learning to be outweigh simply learning to know. Well, there are three main ways that we equip and inspire students at Acton Academy. Uh, the first for core skills is using the latest and adaptive software and real life practice for reading, writing, and arithmetic. For example, we use Khan Academy, ST Math, Manga High, and, and a variety of other math programs and let students choose the one that they like the most. Uh, for reading, the main goal is to get students to love to read. Anything and everything and over time to step them up to more challenging work. In writing, the secret to writing is to write a lot. Our students don't just write essays though. They write thank you notes, they write web copy, they write pitches for projects. So they're writing things that they'll use in the real world to persuade a real audience. Secondly, and this is one of the fun parts, quest-based projects. Not just project-based learning, but actually stringing those projects together as if you feel like you were Harry Potter chasing after Lord Voldemort or Sir Lancelot in the Holy Grail. So these are a series of real world projects where they learn 21st century skills with usually some sort of cost benefit connected. And then finally, as the students get into middle school and high school, real world apprenticeships. Because after all, we're preparing them for a hero's journey. They need to learn to find that calling, that gift, the thing they do better than anyone else that brings them great joy, that serves others in the world. We want them to experiment with a series of adventures in middle school and high school for pay. And so they're not in a science lab. They're working with a real scientist at the university. They're not playing at a lemonade stand. They're working in a real business. Many people ask us, how do we know whether or not this really works? And it's a great question. We don't necessarily believe that national standardized tests are critical to a school. However, it has given us some data. And on average, our students are progressing rapidly through grade levels. We have had several of our students, and this is elementary age students, max out the Stanford 10 test, which goes through high school. So we feel confident that the basic skills are being learned and grasped, and we never teach to the test. We just one day say it's a special day, we're taking a test, and you get fun snacks. And they take the test, and they do really well. We feel very confident about the curriculum in that way. We also were ranked as one of the top blended schools in America by InnoSight, and that meant a lot to us because it means that people who are experts in education have looked at our school and analyzed what we're doing, and given us two thumbs up on a national level. I have really come around to seeing that blended learning is a brilliant innovation. It frees up the guides to work one-on-one -on -one with the kids who need help when they need help. The other ones are having a blast working at their own pace. Um, and they're learning just as much, probably a lot more really, than their peers who might be doing exercises with pen and paper filling out workbook after workbook. Another very important thing we do is every week we take a survey. We ask parents, and more importantly, our customers, the students, what worked this week and what didn't. We ask them to rate the school. We ask them to rate the teachers. We ask for comments. And we found that tying our guides bonuses to customer satisfaction and listening closely to if are we delivering what we promise us, it has a profound effect on the performance of the school. There's integrity to everything. All the layers line up. Um, everything they do has a purpose. And that really aligns with our family philosophy. We want everything we do to have a purpose. And the weekly surveys are one of the ways that they hold themselves accountable. And it's a weekly reminder that students and parents are customers and that the academy is really here to serve the families. We see ourselves not as teachers of content, but more curators. With that in mind, the first thing we do every year when it's time to recreate the curriculum is to start out with an overarching question. What's an important, profound question that could link everything we do in core skills, 
in projects and the sciences and arts in PE all together. For example, the question this year is, does the past determine the future? And what a fascinating philosophical question. So everything we do all year is somehow tied to the idea of the past determining the future and how that will affect our students and their hero's journey through life. I think our process drama project interrelated with electronics and robotics and producing a play that was at the State Theater was probably one of our most successful and most exciting projects. It involved everyone, their bodies, their minds, their hearts, their souls. The students not only had to become and create a character, but had to create their own story, had to actually create a budget for the play, had to sell the tickets, had to have a concession stand, had to perform, had to direct the play. And within that, they were learning all about how the world works through electronics and robotics. And at the same time, questioning what does it mean to be human? And they came up with answers like being able to love and to forgive and to feel emotion. So that's it for me. The idea of looking at your life as a narrative that you, you have control over. I didn't figure that out for myself until I was in my 20s. But these young kids, some of them are six years old when they first come to Acton, are being given the idea that they are the protagonists in their life story and that they are the heroes. It's so empowering. I think it really gives the context that how they spend today affects what their choices will be for tomorrow. I have great hopes for education in the future of America because I believe people are really experimenting right now and playing around with ideas and trusting things they didn't trust in the past. I feel that technology is just shattering everything that we've known and been comfortable with. I think that people accept that a system that worked in the early 1900s is not appropriate for us now, but I think free thinkers are, are the key and that's what we're trying to protect here at Acton, the freedom to really think and to be who you are meant to be. What I've seen happening at Acton in the classroom, what I've seen these children do and become has made me feel that the Acton methodology really has the potential to change education on a global level. And that, that is what I would love to see happen. I feel like this little school um, that takes so many risks is a wonderful laboratory for innovation. Every day, the look in my son's eyes, the twinkle in his eyes, curiosity, joy, excitement, these things are so alive in him. And Acton cultivates that and celebrates that. And I feel really lucky to have him in an environment where his natural inclination is celebrated and nurtured.